Hello and welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raper. We've got a lot coming up in this episode. Before we get started, let me show you something. You know how cameramans had three holes in one? Well, Look at this shot. If that had been cameraman, it would have gone in, but I was thrilled anyway. <laughs> that almost made it worthwhile. <laughs> Cape Canaveral, where they have the Kennedy Space Center, is about 100 miles from us. Well, you know, they launched that big rocket the other night, and I want you to see how clearly we could see it just from the front of our house. It's amazing. It did not look like it was 100 miles away. You know, we told you there was going to be a huge car show at Brownwood. Well, the weather uh, sort of put a damper on that, so to speak. Cameraman wanted to see it anyway. And I tell you what, when he came back to the car, he was soaked. <laughs> Just the night before, the Village's Tesla Club had a meet, and look at the difference when the weather is nice. This time, y'all gotta sing it with us like you mean it.
Now it's time for what do I get for my money and since it's the first of the month I have four for you that just recently sold. And now let's take a look at the MLS stats for the week of April 24th through May the 1st. We have this week 47 sold. Last week we had 45. Pending, we have 50. Last week we had 58. New listings, 40. Last week we had 49. Price reductions, woo, 79. Last week we had 71. And the reductions are still coming in strong. Houses are staying on the market just a little longer. And I think that uh, we're starting to find our bottom as far as sales price. Oh, they didn't do anything this week. Last week we had 345 active homes on the market and this week we have 354. Fabulous. Country Club and we haven't filmed eating lunch or dinner here before but we have breakfast so uh, it's very close to our house we love coming here we've ordered 
the starter of onion rings and look what a full plate of onion rings we have. Cameraman has ordered the butter paddock and I have ordered a, I think it's a Grecian pizza. So they, they do have a brick oven which uh, makes the pizzas really, really good. So I'm excited. So let's give these bad boys a try. So yummy. Some onion rings have too much batter and not enough onion, but these have the right amount. They are so good. I was asked how I wanted my pizza either thick or thin. I chose thin, but you can get it thick crust if you want. All righty, gonna try a bit of cameraman's paddock. Is that a mushroom? Yeah. That is delicious. Let me have a bite of my pizza. Oh my. That is so good. I love it. So now I'm going to try some of Cameron's rice. And asparagus. Mmm. Cooked perfect. Mm, yummy. It's got a little bit of a smoky taste to it. It's grilled. That's wonderful. Very, very good. So my pizza was awesome. I couldn't eat it all because I ate too many <laughs> onion rings. But uh, cameraman was able to eat all of his. He loved it. I do think he has his eye on that last piece of pizza. Now just hold it on a minute there, cameraman. Hold your horses. We want that pizza. I'm giving my pizza a solid nine. And let's see what cameraman's gonna give his. Amanda was our server. She was very attentive, very nice. All the staff seemed very nice, and we definitely will be back. Now, let's take a look at House of the Week. This happens to be my new listing, and I tell you what, I wish I had 10 just like this one. Welcome to 2531 Raintree Drive in the village of Duval. This is a 3-2 Corpus Christi and it is immaculate and adorable. Come on inside. Oh, I love this area here. Look how nice this is. And the window box. I love it. Oh, I love the decor in here. There's absolutely no carpet at all. And you've got tile in the wet areas. And then this lovely laminate flooring, which is light. 
Um, all the walls have been freshly painted, a neutral color. And look how awesome this granite is. I love the kitchen here. Those cabinets are unique. I mean, they're not your run-of-the-mill cabinets. They are very, very quality and real wood. You've got the little thing here to uh, hide your appliances or whatever you want to hide in there. <laughs> and look at this. This is very unique. This actually opens from the other side. This pulls out and then does like that. Isn't that cool? Very nice appliances. I think we should go in here. This is the living room and dining room combination. The vaulted ceiling, it makes it feel a lot roomier. And just how, look how everything matches. It's just really, really nice. You have room for a four top here and with the bar stools there, it's great for entertaining playing cards, whatever. Let's go into the master. I love the choice. All, all of the painting is neutral and this is so pretty in here. It seems very serene. You've got nice light and these blinds are very, very nice. Master bath is beautiful. Look at the fancy bowls. Beautiful mirror. It's got a linen closet and wait till you see the shower. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got one of those um, barn door shower doors that I absolutely love. And the walk-in closet is a very nice size. Alrighty, now let's go over to the guest area. Once again, you have um, the pocket door makes this very private for the guest. This is a very nice guest room that's located in the front of the house and once again you've got the double windows and the beautiful shades and you've got a very nice size closet. Very nice. Another very nice bathroom. It's got the granite top. And there's a linen closet in here as well. Very nice. And this is a third bedroom currently being used as an office. It does not have a closet, but you could easily put a Murphy bed or a sofa, a fold-out sofa in here and make it a guest room. And the office area over here, this is all built in so it stays and very, very tasteful. I love how they've put that together. And it's a, a very large space. Um, the fans have been upgraded. I really like these and it's in the other room as well. Let's go have a look at the lanai. And as always, this is my favorite area. Oh, look how nice this is. You've not only got the screened-in area here, 
but you also have a patio area over here, perfect for grilling. And uh, love, the, love the fan. And the floor has been uh, painted. And these bottle brush bushes really give privacy. That's wonderful that um, those are there. And this area out here is very nice for grilling. If you put a lounger out here, it'd be a perfect place to get some sun. I believe that you get the morning sun here. Everything is just so nice and neat. I'm in the market for some new patio furniture myself, and I tell you, this is very comfortable. This is a one-car garage plus golf cart, and as you can see, it's a, a good size and depth. You have your washer and dryer here, which are extremely nice, and they've added these cabinets up above here, here, and there as well. Plus, there is a, um, a sink utility sink over here and you've got plenty of room there's a water a whole house water softener you've got plenty of room for your a car a golf cart bicycles and whatever else you need in here and the garage door opener has been replaced it is unbelievably quiet <laughs> This extremely nice Corpus Christi was built in 2006. It's in the village of Duval, which is a great location. It is getting a brand new roof. It is very tastefully decorated. It has had all new window treatments. Uh, the fans have been replaced and it is immaculate. One of the cleanest houses I've ever seen. It can be purchased for $339.9 and the furniture is also available if you choose. It does have a bond. If you have any interest whatsoever, give me a call, text, or email me. I'll be more than happy to show it to you. And I have to tell you that went pending on the very first day. See why I would like to have 10 of them. <laughs> And now it's time for cruise talk. And those of you who have just started watching, we went on the Celebrity Constellation cruise, 10 day cruise, and we asked our YouTube family, did they wanna see snippets from our cruise? And we had a big response, so here we are. We went on the Celebrity Constellation, and although this is an older ship, it was absolutely gorgeous. I loved looking down over the balcony at the ocean. I mean, so many different colors. The water is just amazing. You see it on postcards and on pictures, but you don't really expect what you see in person. And our crew was hysterical. They played volleyball against the guests, and that was a <laughs> They were always doing something to entertain us. <laughs> and as far as entertainment goes, we had lots of really nice entertainment. This young man is Jared Freiberger, and he was awesome on the piano. Just really, really a great entertainer. All around the ship, especially during Easter time, things were everywhere. Carvings, all kinds of decorations. I mean, look at these, how ornate. And um, the food was just fabulous. They had a beautiful Easter service. 
in the theater and Roy Tan was playing the piano and it's wonderful. Here's a picture of me and two celebrity ships in San Juan and here's a picture of me and cameraman at the pool bar. Please don't forget to get in touch with me if you're planning on coming here or if you just have questions about the area. I have a wealth of knowledge that I would love to share with you. I absolutely love the villages and I'm happy to tell you all about it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and the like button, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for all of your viewing. We really appreciate your remarks, your kind words. Thank you so much. And until next time, bye. Now let's take a look for the now let's take a look at the MLS stats for the week of. And now it's time for MLS stats of the week. Just the night before the Village's Tesla Club. <laughs> I'm tongue tied. Damper on that, so to speak. Um, car cameraman. <laughs> Carman. Over. This will show you a little bit of difference when the weather cooperates. <laughs> when the weather cooperates. <laughs>